Right, for mine, mine's like not actually that big a one. So I'll see what you got the tag on this one. But I saw the news, Maui Snake, and this just bombed me out. Because even the way it was announced, this is what I hate. So it's not going to be the specific player. It's the way this team is using the fifth position. And it's going to be the news that LNZ will continue as the NIP's fifth player. So what I hate about this, like I say, is not just the move. Like, I don't like the move itself. I I've actually watched him play. And I, quite frankly, I didn't think he ever really passed the eye test. And he also looks like a player where it's like, if you are good, mate, it'll be in two years. It's not now. Like, you're just an okay player at best. Secondly, when I look at him in the team, I also get this horrible vibe, like a lot of teams over the years. Like, he just got whatever was left over in the fucking team because explicitly they don't need him and they've been replaced with fifth player. So I get the feeling that he was just like, you got this shit roll, this spot. This, you know, like, he never had any choice. So he's also not going to shine if he is an up-and-coming player because you weren't doing any of that shit to get your shine initially. You, presumably, you probably were the star of a team to get you noticed in this way. So my problem problem basically is NIP is actually really underwhelming me dude it was months and months ago I think it was in the beginning of May when they signed Device we're now almost in September and they still don't have a set five and part of the reason they don't is because let's be real these players they're bringing at the fifth position just aren't going to last like eventually they're going to have to as we say in English like, shit or get off the pot like either commit to one of these players because you actually believe in their potential, in which case, by the way, they might have a chance to develop, or forget them, get rid of them now, because all you're doing is ruining them as players, in my opinion. When you take players like ZTR and LNZ, and you make them play a bunch of tier one tournaments, but they know they're not even a real player, and they're not building towards anything, they're just having to literally audition every game they play to stay in the team. That is a terrible fucking state. Like, that's not how you grow a player. That's how you kill a player's confidence in his fucking career. So I hope they either just sign a player or pick one of these players. If it is LNZ then just say something like this, right? After the major, we'll make a decision. Because that way you at least give him like in his mind, right? You've got this space, you've got a few tournaments to work with. It's not about fail, you know, failing or winning today. This approach they're taking, I think it's really cutthroat. Like, it, it, it just, I feel like they're going to sort of chew up these players and, and we'll never hear from them again after Nip either. I mean, I, I would say something like, I, I don't understand their, yeah, the, 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 the view they have in IP. When you were picking up such a player like a device um i think you're trying to build a winning team that's i think what they want and that the other way they're doing like uh they're just putting like a, an academy player and leaving him like okay you have two even to prove and yes. yeah it's it's like something pretty weird i feel and i don't think they will perform in that way that's even pretty sure so as you said uh, it's a lot of pressure on uh, on this lnz guy uh, just having say uh, your, your your organization say yeah you have one tournament and then we will see, it's not uh, en enough time to just to 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 think your way and uh, and perform and being comfortable. Uh, I think yeah they they they're doing like uh, maybe uh, what NIP have done before uh, by replacing all the <laughs> yes. time one the player. The spot always gets replaced. Yeah, like the old team. You mean yeah? Yeah, having like the the yes. same core and replacing one player and the, the, that guy had to do like the, the fifth Laren yes, old role, exactly. which is even more than the support player. It it's it was yes. even worse. So yeah, I'm not sure what they are uh, the the way to to see that, and that's been unfortunate because. When you have uh, one of the, the the best player ever of on Counter Strike, I think you you, you need to uh, you need to have a winning team, and even yes. if you're spending money uh, buying uh, anyone, I don't know I don't know what I could do I, I will do, but I'm just saying that they could they should that uh, yeah give the best and putting the best lineup they could to to trying to win as many things as possible when you're recruiting such a player. By the way, just let me quickly ask you something, Apex, because obviously like, you would be the perfect person to ask. All I think of is this. I'm trying to think of a similar scenario. If when Masuta first came into Vitality, you'd done the same thing. You were like, right, you're only temporarily... You just, in fact, we even listed him on the website. He's just a stand-in, you know, no one knows how long he's going to be here. Like, it, dude, it took ages for Masuta to get as good as he is now. Like, it's taken him almost, yeah. what, like six months, eight months, nine months a year. Like, if he'd have had, like, two months and he'd have known, like, I'm fired if I do really badly and have a bad HLTV rating, I thought he would play the same way. I thought he'd develop the same way, right? Obviously, obviously. You, 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 we didn't even talk about time with him. We just said, obviously, you're young. You know nothing about the game. We're going to try to learn, to teach you as many things as possible and see how it goes. And we didn't even plan anything, like, saying... Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's too too soon or too too okay. late or whatever. We just did. Uh, we did our, our job. We put him in the position uh, he wanted. We're just trying to to work with him, and at the end it worked out. Even though in 2020 he wasn't like playing 
as good as now, sure. but he was still a, a part of, of the team that uh, won few few tournaments yeah, yeah. online, that been to, to many finals, so he learned a lot uh, with the team, and obviously you can't put that much pressure on a young player, that's my way at least, and I think that's the way you need to think, and um, and yeah, I mean, I've just yeah, just let him time and see how it goes, and obviously don't put him in the worst situation just trying try to, to use him in the best way because he has obviously less um, less understanding of the game than the other players that's a yes. sure, sure thing so you just need to use him in a in a certain way uh contrary to the other players that can play a lot of not roles but yes. a, a lot of ways and yeah. i think that's my way to see it and they, and they have their own but Okay. Yeah. By the way, it, when he says in a certain way, Apex means like very specifically, like have him do exactly this as opposed to obviously the other players could fit in a bunch of roles and could sort of move around. What do you think, Mario Snake, on this topic? Uh, I think that it's it's telling that the best real event that Device has played was with ZTR and not Linus. And I still sure. am kind of going to bat for for ZTR because I think that he was a better fit on the roster than than Linus is. Because when I watch Linus. He's just really kind of cookie cutter, but uh, mediocre for the tier one space right now. And at least ZTR played a style that worked for them at Flashpoint. Like, there's still the best result with Device was a uh, second place at Flashpoint. Yeah, true. So uh, when you look at the other things they played, it's, uh, you know, eighth place at IM Summer, fourth the Blast Final, and then ninth, twelfth at Cologne. And yeah, the only event they played there where they came in second place was with uh, ZTR. And yeah, I think to like, Go back to the greater picture of, of NIP just deciding to say we're going to stick with Linus. It's like they, they just went so hard on getting this device pickup and then they're just going through this revolving door of fits now that or I guess it's not even a revolving door. It's just it's just they just decided to pick up a mediocre player that that like that just feels like such a wasted opportunity. Like when you get LeBron James on the Lakers, you get Anthony Davis to pick to back him up. You don't get, yes. you don't get like just some random dude. You don't. Yeah. So like, it, it doesn't make sense that, that they just decide to go with this kind of move because Plopsky is already having enough difficulty in his own role on the team. Like that's kind of like, that kind of was NIP's weak link for a while. And you think maybe if anybody gets replaced, it's Plopsky, but it's like now he's not even the lowest guy on the totem pole. It's there's a lower person. And that that's like, that's the last thing you're supposed to do when you're getting a, uh, you know, a hallmark superstar like device. So I, I just, yeah, everything rubbed me the wrong way as soon as Hampus on the HLTV confirmed podcast told everybody that yeah NIP is just going through all the roster moves and they're not telling us and whatever they do they do yes. and then we just have to deal with it and like is that really any way to run some kind of uh, a team like this like surely not so I, everything that's been going on in the NIP camp from their social media presence to how they're running the team it, it's just it's just rubbing me the wrong way the only good thing that they've been doing is um They've been doing nice vlogs where device is uh, getting a lot of quotes out of them. That's that's, that's the only thing that's yes. helped me for my job. <laughs> Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.